Hello there, hello there. Welcome to CXC Math TV. And today we're going to be looking at volume, volume of three dimensional objects, right? And so before you can do volume, there are some basic shapes that you have to remember how to find their area, right? We've already covered all of these, right? So you have to remember finding area of a square is length times width, or you know, the length and the width is the same for a square, so it's length square. Then rectangle, length times width. What about circle, IR square, triangle, half base times height, trapezium, half the sum of the parallel sides times the perpendicular height. And now if it's a non-right angle triangle, you have to remember half AB sine theta. And then you have to also remember Heron's formula in case you're given the three sides, right? And yeah, you have to use Heron's formula. So you have to remember how to find the area of basic shape. Ah. Why? Volume. Let's take a look at some three-dimensional objects. Here are some 3D objects. You have a cone, a cube, a cylinder, a hemisphere, which means half of a sphere, a hexagonal prism, an octagonal prism, a rectangular prism, a pyramid, a sphere, a triangular pyramid. These are some three-dimensional objects, right? The most popular ones we'll focus on in our video today is the cube, the cuboid, and the cylinder. Those are the three ones that you find that come on CSEC exams most frequently. Sometimes, on occasion, you do see prism, and sometimes you do see hemisphere or sphere. You do see those on occasion, but oftentimes it's cube, cylinder, and cuboid. Now, first thing, how do we go about finding volume of 3D figures? First thing we have to remember is um, what is volume? What really is volume? Now, what is volume? Volume is just the volume of an object is just how much space an object takes up. It's how much space it is occupied. That's all. And it's measured in cubic units. So, for example, sometimes you have maybe a bottle of water, right? You have a bottle of water and you see on the water it says 600 milliliter. It's telling you how much space or how much water can be occupied inside of the bottle 600 milliliter right that's how much space it takes up that's its volume right so now you need to know formula for volume for these regular shape three-dimensional objects the formula we're going to use is v equal a times h now you're wondering what is a and what is h a is just the area of the cross section and h is the length of the curved surface a is the area of the cross section, H is the length of the curved surface. So let's look at some three dimensional objects, such as a cylinder. So, for a cylinder, remember from our video with total surface area, right? The cross section is the circle. So, you have a circle at the top and a circle at the bottom, right? Those are our cross sections. So, to find the volume of a cylinder, right, the curve, the length of the curved surface is the height you see we just pop in right here. That's your H. So the formula would be area of the circle we know is pi r squared. Area of the circle, this is our cross section. Area of the circle is pi r squared. Then we'll multiply it by the height, h. So this is the formula you need to remember for volume of a cylinder. Pi r squared h. Just remember this and you're good to go. Pi r squared h, where r is the radius of the circle and h is the perpendicular height. Next is a cube. For a cube now, a cube looks something like this slide where all the sides are equal in length, right? So the volume of a cube is just length times length times length, which is length cube. That's the formula you need to remember for volume of a cube. Now for a cuboid, this is prep school days now. Prep school days, that's a cuboid. It's just length times width times height, right? Don't need to stretch that one. We should remember that's the volume of a cuboid. Easy. So now let's look at some questions, right? Basic. This is a cuboid. Find the volume of the following. The volume of the first one here, the cuboid is three times four times 10. The cuboid, that's third, that's four, three is 12. 12 times 10 is 120. Then remember a unit, centimeter cube. This one, 11 times two times three, that is 22 times three, 66 centimeter cube. This one down here, the volume would be 4 times 20 times 25. Now, 
I'm going to multiply the other way. 25 times 4 is 100. And then 100 times 20 is, well, 100 times 20 is 30. So that's 2,000 centimeter cube. Finally, the last one, volume of the cube board. We have 6 times 50 times 90. And 6 fives is 30. So that's 300 times 90. 9 three is 27. And we'll put our three zeros centimeter cube. Easy. Those are just some easy questions. Now, if it was a cube, how do we do that again? Very easy. So it's just length cube. So three cube, which is 27 centimeters cube. The next one, five cube, which is 125 meter cube. This now is 21 cube centimeter cube when you put that in a calculator and this one would be 0 0.6 cube which would work out to be i know 6 cube is 216 and this need three decimal place so that would be 0 0.36 times 0 0.6 which is 0. Ah, put that in your calculator, right? So put this in your calculator, please. I um, think I'm getting the decimal a little off, right? So you put that in your calculator and you get your answer and you write your answer in terms of centimeter cube. Easy. Hey! Now, sometimes these are the ones I want you to take on. Sometimes they're going to give you the volume and ask you to find a side. I want you to pause the video and do these questions. These are the challenging questions. These are the challenging questions. Take on these three. Pause the video. Attempt. Okay, let's go. So for the first one, right, they told us the volume. We know volume is length times width times height. So 140 is the length 10 times 2 times x. Right, so that is saying 20x equal 140. So divide both sides by 20. Divide both sides by 20. So we get x is equal to 7 centimeters. Easy. Over here now, 160. We don't know this side. Let's call it y. So that is 4 times 8 times y. 4 8 is 32. So that's 32y is 160. So now we divide both sides by 32. So divide both, sorry, sorry keeps doing that. So divide both sides by 32, we'll get y equal 5. This one, we have 432 is equal to 4 times 4.5 times x. 4 times 4.5, I believe that is 18x. It's 432. And we divide both sides by 18, and so x is just 432 divided by 18. That's equal to, you pump that into your calculator. Well, um, don't have the calculator. Go into this 9, go into this 2, go into this 1, go into 12, 6. And then I can go 3 into this 3, 3 into that 7, 3 into that 2, 3 into itself 1, and 3 into 72 goes 20 times. So x is 20 centimeter wow. now here's a tricky question now here's where it gets challenging i want you to pause the video and do this question ronaldo is making a burgundy paint by mixing red and brown paint in a cuboid and it says the container has width of 30 centimeters length 40. he mixes red and brown paint in the ratio two to three ronaldo uses 8.4 liters of red Find the height of the container. Pause the video, answer this question. All right, so in doing this question now, let's see again what is happening, right? Ready, let's take it on. So they told us Ronaldo is making burgundy paint and the burgundy is made from mixing red and brown, right? Red and brown. Now they said the container has with 30 and length 40, no problem. What else did they tell us? They told us that he mixes red and brown in the ratio two to three. So that is key information, the ratio is what? Two to three. 
he uses 8.4 liters of red. Ah. So the first thing is that the ratio of red and brown, right, is in the ratio 2 to 3. So the ratio is 2 to 3, right? Then now they told us that 8.4 liters of red paint was used. So 8.4 liters red is used. We don't know how much brown. Let's call that Y. Now what we can do is find what Y is by cross multiplying. Because the ratio must be maintained. So 2y is equal to 3 times 8.4. So then we divide both sides by 2. That will give us y. So in that case now, let's put in the calculator. 3 times 8.4. And then we divide it by 2. And we're getting 12.6. So y is equal to 12.6. Right? So that's the... That's how much um, brown paint was used. So brown is equal to 12.6 liters. Now, why is that important? That is important. First thing I want to show you is look at the ratio of the liters, 8.4 divided by 12.6. Guaranteed you get the same 2 to 3. See there, 2 over 3. So that is true. We are correct. Now that we get how much brown was utilized, now we know the total paint. The total paint volume is equal to, notice the keyword I use right here, volume. The total paint volume is 12.6 plus 8.4, which is 20 liters. That's the total volume. Now we can find X because now we know the volume. But wait a second. We have to know an equation that tells us 1 liter equal to 1,000 centimeters cube. So in that case, now 20 liters is just 20 times 1,000, and that is 2, and then we put 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. That's 20,000 centimeter cube. Now that we have the volume, remember we have the length, we have the width, and we don't know the height. So 20,000 is equal to the length times the width times the height. So all we do now is we just divide both sides by 40 times 30, and that will give us x. Cancel, cancel. So put that in, 20,000 divided by 40 times 30, and that's it. The height is that amount. It is 16 and 2 over 3 centimeters. So x is equal to 16 and 2 over 3 centimeters. Easy, easy, easy. Nice. Next question. It says an empty swimming pool is going to be filled with water. The swimming pool is a cuboid that is 2.5 meter long, 10 meter wide, and 2 meter deep. It is being filled at a rate of 800 liters per minute. How long will it take to, to fill the swimming pool? Give your answer in hours and minutes. Pause the video. Tempt this question. Take it on. Take it on, man. Try it. All right, let's go ahead and do this. All right. So to do this question, what did they tell us? They gave us the... First thing they gave us the swimming pool is what? A cuboid. So if it's a cuboid, I'm just going to try to sketch something. I love when you see what is happening. Right? So if you see what is happening, we have a cuboid. I know my cuboid is not perfect, but you get the idea. They told us that the length of the cuboid was, what was the length? 2.5 meter long. So I'm just putting on the numbers. So 2.5. Remember, it's not 100% accurate, the diagram. They told us the width is 10 meters wide and the height is 2 meters deep. This is it. So first thing we can do is find the volume of the swimming pool. So the volume of the swimming pool is 2 times 10 times 2, which works out to be 2 times 10 times 2.5. You put that in a calculator. 2 times 10 times 2.5. So the volume of the swimming pool is 50 meters cube. 
No, it says it is being filled at a rate of 800 liters per minute. Notice how much? What is it? 800 liters per minute. Then what has it told us? Given one meter cube is 1,000 liters, how long will it be in the swimming pool? So we have the volume in meter cube, but we need to convert it to liters. So remember, one meter cube is a thousand, so 50 meter cube is 50 times a thousand. We'll work out 50 times 1,000, and this gives us how many liters? 50,000 liters, right? Now that we have 50,000 liters, they told us that, remember, 800 liters, 800 liters is good for every one minute, right? Every one minute will fill 800 liters. How much you're going to fill in so much 50,000 liters is going to fill how many minutes? We just do the division, right? So 50,000 divided by 800, we put that in our calculator, divided by 800, this gives us 62.5. So 62.5 minutes. So really and truly, it is taking us one hour and 2.5 minutes. That's how long it's going to take us to fill the swimming pool. One hour and 2.5 minutes. This is a very nice volume question. Very, very, very nice. What about this one? Pause the video and attempt. It said a cuboid container below is used to store boxes. Each box is a cube with a side length of 50 centimeters. How many boxes can be stored in the container? Pause the video, take five minutes and do this question. Or less than five minutes. Go ahead. All right, let's go through it now. So in doing this question, what do we know? We know the volume of the container, right? The volume of the container is length times width times height. That is 1.5 times 4 and 6. We work that out. Now, before I do that, scratch that, right? Now, before I even do that, I'm going to do something different. I know 1.5 meters is 150 centimeters. Why am I doing this? You're going to see soon enough. I noticed that the second part of the question has centimeters. So straight away, I want to work out everything in terms of centimeters. So 150 times 400 times 600. That way, I get the volume in centimeters cube. Ah, so 150 times 400 times 600. Get my answer in centimeters cube, which is, that's a big number. I can't even say it. This is 36 million cm cube. That's the volume. Now, the volume of the box is 50 cube. Now, 50 cube, if we work that out, 50 cube that is that amount 125,000 centimeters cube so if we need to find out how many box can be filled in in the space because volume deal with space we just do division so now we just need to divide the volume of the container by the volume of the box so 36 million divided by 125,000 we do our division Is that million? One, two, three, one, two, three, good. We divide it by 125,000. We're getting 288. 288 boxes can be held in the container. That's all. Wow. 288. Really, really nice. Next question here now. It says below is a cylinder with diameter 8 and a height 10. Find the volume of this cylinder. Pause the video and attempt this question. So in doing this question, the first thing we said was what? Volume of a cylinder. We already said it. Volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. That's what we said, right? Volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. Now if the diameter is 8, then the radius is 4. So the volume is pi times 4 squared times 10. So you can work that out 4 squared is 16, 16 times 10 is 165. 
that's the volume 160 pi all right and of course you put centimeters next question it says carl is filling flower pots with soil each flower pot is a cylinder is a cylinder with radius 7 and height 20 carl has 50 liters of soil how many flower pots can be filled so go ahead pause the video and attempt this question all right let's go so ready let's go so now remember it says carl is filling the flower pot each flower pot in the cylinder with radius 7 and 20. carl has 50 liters of soil first thing is let's find the volume of the cylinder volume of the cylinder is going to be pi r square h so this is pi times the radius is 7 squared times the height 20. that's in a calculator all right so 7 squared times 20 then we multiply that by pi so get the volume is 3079 so 3079 centimeters cube now what do we know we know that 1000 centimeter cube is equal to one liter if we divide this by 1000 we get that this is 3.079 liters now that's the volume of that's the volume of the floor part right but carl has 50 so now we divide 50 by the 3.09 and let's do our division 50 so we're going to divide 50 by this now so 50 divided by our answer and we get 16.24 but, but it's really 16.24 16 we're going to say how many floor pots can be filled 16 can be filled that's our answer 16 nice that's it easy Next question. This one, it tells us the volume of the cylinder. We need to find the height of the cylinder. Pause the video and attempt this question. All right, let's go. First thing, the volume of the cylinder. I hope you had paused the video, right? You feel free if you didn't pause it yet, you can pause it now. Pause it, do the question. Ready, so the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared h so 100 is pi times the radius is 2 squared times the height 2 squared is 4 so now we just divide both sides by the 4 pi so that gives us the height is 100 over 4 pi we put that in a calculator 100 divided by 4 times pi And we're getting 7.96 7.96 centimeters that's the height finally this last question they tell us now the volume they tell us that the cylinder and the the cube have same volume we need to find why pause the video and do this question okay well, if the volume of the cylinder is equal to the volume of the cube, then this is saying pi r square h is equal to y cube. So this works out to be pi times the radius is, if the, if the diameter is 12, the radius is 6. So that's what we need to work out. 6 squared times 14. And we multiply that by pi. That gives us this amount. And that's equal to y cubed. So y is equal to 504 pi. And so y is going to be the cube root of this number. So we're going to cube root it now. So we cube root that amount and we get 11.65. So y is equal to 11.65. So that is it. Y is equal to 11.65. The value of pi. All right, so this is just 16, not 16, 11.65 centimeters. Easy. All right, 
11.65. So that keeps disappearing, but it's 0.65. Oh. That is all you need to know about volumes in terms of volume of cubes, cuboids, and cylinders. I'm gonna make another video with volume of cones, pyramids, and prisons. That is it for today. Take care, and I will see you soon.